Hello friends, welcome to our course Go Java. I hope you have been enjoying the program so far and also the course Everyone Can Code. In the course Everyone Can Code, we learned how to write simple Java programs, compile and execute them, conditional statements and looping constructs. Also, we took a dive into strings, arrays, methods, how to modularize our programs. In short, we took a basic understanding of how a plain, simple Java program would look like. Now, in this course on Core Java, we are going to introduce you to classes and objects that makes the crux of the programming language Java. We will explore different object-oriented features of Java in this course. And also, we'll take a look at reading and writing data. Now, for the ease of understanding and making this course much more interesting, we are going to introduce you to all of these concepts in correlation with IPL Cricket. I hope you are very excited by now. So, let's jump into the first problem of this course the batsman problem. So what we are going to do in this problem is write a very simple class called batsman, which represents the batting statistics of a player in IPL 2016. So this program is going to introduce you to how to write a very simple basic class structure along with how to add attributes to the class and methods to the class. Now a class is nothing but a blueprint that describes the state as well as the behavior of its objects. So for the state you mean the attributes or the instant variables while the methods of the class work on these very attributes of the class to define the behavior of the class. We'll get a better understanding while we write the program on the same. But first, let's understand the specifications of this very problem. Now, while writing this class, we are going to add the following attributes to the class batsman. So batsman has to have a name, run scored, how many centuries he has scored, half centuries, balls faced, force and success. So as you see, all these attributes define the state of a batsman. The current statistics of a batsman would be covered in all these attributes. Now you can add more as and when you like, but we are starting with a very basic structure. Now to define the behavior, we will add the following three methods to our batsman class. The first one is set data. Now this is going to be used to initialize the respective instance members of the class with the given arguments. Then the second one is get strike rate. This is going to calculate strike rate that is run scores divided by balls faced to two decimal values and return it. And the final method would be get runs code in boundaries. So this method would calculate the runs scored in boundaries. So for example, if someone has scored 10 fours and 10 sixes, so we'll get the runs scored in boundaries by the formula that is shown here and return it. So that is the very basic picture of what we are going to do in this program. Now let's jump onto the code. So I've just created a class batsman11 with the main method inside it. Now, before we get inside the main, we'll first see how to write a class. Now, the structure of class, writing a class is very simple. You say class and you give the name of the class. So our name of the class is going to be batsman. This is it. Now, one by one, we first add the attributes to the class. So as we saw here, all these attributes, name, runs code, centuries, half centuries, balls faced, four, sixes, need to be added to our class batsman. 
so we'll start off name that would be a string then runs code integer centuries again would be a integer and so on we'll add all the attributes so now that we are done with defining our attributes we'll move on to defining our methods so the very first method that we talked about was set data which will initialize our class attributes to the right values so we'll start off with writing set data now the method is not returning anything so the return type is going to be void and all the parameters that you would pass in here are given as the input parameters now to add these values to the current class instance we use the keyword this it will add the parameter pass to the current class variable instance so when you hit this dot you will see all the parameters in the list here so we take this dot name is equal to the name that we pass then this dot runs code will be equal to the runs code that we pass here and so on this will be used to initialize all the values so that is how our set data function looks like now further there were two more functions strike rate and runs code in boundaries so to get the strike rate the value returned would be a float so we say float get strike rate and then inside this all we do is we return runs code by balls phase into 100 so how to refer to the current runs code of the current batsman again we use this so this dot runs code divided by this dot balls faced and we multiply it by 100 so this is what gives us the strike rate fairly simple function right and similarly we'll write the function where we get the run code in boundaries now this will give you an integer output so we say int get run code in boundaries This will be returning this dot force into four plus this dot sixes into six. So this will give you the runs code in boundaries. Now this is our complete class batsman. We have attributes, we have set the data, we are getting the strike rate and the runs code and boundaries. Now how do we create the object of this class in our main? So we have this main class right here, public class batsman, wherein we have our main function. Now inside this to create a batsman object is exactly like how you create an integer object or you create a string so class name batsman give the object name let's say batsman1 and new batsman so this has created your batsman1 object now let's feed in some data some dummy data of let's say Virat Kohli into this batsman one. So this is how it would look like object name dot the attribute value that you have to set. So if you have to set the name batsman dot name equals to Virat Kohli, let's say. Now if you have to set the runs code for this batsman batsman dot one dot runs code equals to 973. Similarly, we add all the attribute values. Now, if we have to say, let's print the number of centuries scored by Virat Kohli. 
So we write a fairly simple line system dot out dot println centuries. Now how do you access the value? Just say batsman one that is the object name dot the value that you want to access that is centuries. Fairly simple. Alright. Now let's say create one more batsman object. Batsman batsman two equal to new batsman. So this is another object. Now to initialize the values to this, we'll use the function that we created that is set data function. So we'll say batsman2 dot set data. Now all these values need to be passed to set the data here. So let's say XYZ name runs code. Let's give him 500 centuries let's give him one half centuries two balls face let's say 300 force is eight and sixes is 15 let's say some dummy data okay now this will set the data exactly how this is going to set the data. So these are the two different ways you can set data into your class object. Now to access the data of batsman2 again, you can simply say system.out.println. Let's see. Now we want to get the strike rate, let's say. So we say strike rate. Now to get the strike rate, you need to call the function get strike rate. So you just say batsman2 dot get strike rate. You'll get the strike rate of your batsman. Similarly, if the other function that is there get runs code and boundaries, you can say int boundaries run batsman two dot get runs code in boundaries and then we can go ahead and print this boundaries run all right so we saw how we create a class add attributes to the class add methods to the class how do we initialize our class attributes and how do we create a class object and assign values to the class object also, we saw how we access the methods of the class. Now let's quickly run this and see our result. So our result should be centuries scored by Virat Kohli, that is four. And we get the run scored in boundaries and strike rate of the batsman XYZ. So when we run this, we get the centuries scored by Virat Kohli four strike rate we get 100 and the boundaries run we get 122 all right i hope you enjoyed this program and understood how we use classes in our programs i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching and happy coding